Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. This is part that 18 of ASP.NET. So in the last class we discussed about uh, validation controls, master pages and everything. Today we'll discuss about ADVO.NET. Is it clear? Uh, until now we have discussed, uh, we, we have done the examples with static. But now let us see what is this ADVO.NET. Let us discuss. Okay. So ADVO.NET is a technology. ADO.NET is a technology which is used to communicate with what? Database server. If you want to interact with any database server, you must have the knowledge on one technology that is ADO.NET. ASP.NET is also a technology which is used to develop. ASP.NET technology used to develop web applications. If you want to develop web applications, we have to learn what? ASP.NET. If your web application want to communicate with the database, then you have to learn what ADO.NET. So database we already know. Generally, whenever you want to perform any operations on data, we need to store the data. Data means it may be anything. It may be a text or it may be a number or it may be an image, audio, anything is called as data. So whenever you want to perform any operations on data, we need to store the data. In order to store the data, we require some memory. This memory is basically defined to two types. One is temporary memory, other one is permanent memory. Temporary memory means RAM. Permanent memory means hard disk. Whenever you want to perform any operations on data, we need to store the data. In order to store the data, we require some memory. This memory is basically defined to two types. One is temporary memory, other one is what? Permanent memory. So if you want to store the data permanently, is it clear in any programming languages, the memory for the data will be stored on RAM. Is it clear? RAM means, for example, if you store the data in the variable, or if you try to store the data in array, or if you try to store the data in object, then the data will be stored in RAM. RAM is a temporary storage memory area. Is it clear? If you want to store the data permanently in hard disk, where to take the support of files or database. Is it clear? In file, the data will be saved permanently. In database also, the data will be saved. Are you following? So, but uh, in database, the data will be sto uh, stored in the form of tabular format, in the form of tables, rows and what? Columns. Are you following everyone? So in database, the data will be stored in the form of tables, which is a collection of rows and columns. Generally in files, uh, generally you have a lot of files are there, text files are there, doc files are there, uh, .jpg files, PNG, lot of files are there. If you want to access the data from the files, for example, if your data is stored in files, if you want to access the data from the files, we have to write some set of programs. Some programs are required, some programming languages required to access the data from the file, either C, Java, Python, some languages are required. Is it clear? Because in file, the data will be saved in the form of text format only. In order to access the data, some programming language is required. But in database, database means the place where the data is saved permanently. If you want to store the data in the form of tables, we'll try to take the support of database. So database means the place where the data is saved permanently. Database is also nothing but what? Hard disk only. Let us assume this is your database. In database, the data will be stored in the form of table, which is collection of rows and columns. For example, I'm developing a project for a particular college. Let us assume. I'm developing a project for a particular college to maintain the student details, employee details, similarly course details, Similarly, department details, I want to develop a project for a particular college to maintain all these details. Student details, employee details, course details, department details. So I need to create one database. Database is nothing but collection of information. The data belongs to a particular organization. It's called as uh, information. Is it clear? Now in database, the data will be stored in the form of tables. For example, I'll create one table with name student, student number, student name is, is it clear? And similarly, I'll try to create um, in table, the data will be stored in the form of rows and columns, year 101. Here, I'll try to give an ill, year 20. Here, I'll try to give 102. 
here I'll try to give Ajay, here I'll give 22, something like, here I'll try to create one more table with name employee, with column C number, E name and salary, is it clear, here I'll try to give 1001, some employee name, some John, here salary 20,000, so in database, the data will be stored in the form of table, which is a collection of rows and columns, but database server is not user friendly, in order to maintain this data, we need to take the support of some database related softwares like SQL Server. SQL Server is a database software. Oracle. Oracle is a database software. MySQL. It is a database software. MongoDB. These all are different types of database software. Database software means it is a software which is used to manage what? Databases. Is it clear? So database uh, servers are uh, database software is not user friendly. If, we, if the end user cannot directly communicate with the database server, if the end user wants to communicate, if, 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 if you want to communicate with the database server, uh, you, you must have the knowledge on one language that is SQL. So what is SQL means? SQL is a language, structured query language. It is a language which is used to write queries to interact with the database. Now you can ask me why to communicate with the database we have to communicate with the database to perform CRUD operations. CRUD operations means insert, update, delete, select. If you want to store the data in the database, you have to write the insert code, insert command. If you want to delete the record from the table, delete command. Update the record, update command. Such the So here in database, the data will be stored in the form of table. Uh, like we can perform CRUD operations, insert, update, delete as well as select. If you want to save the data in the table, you have to write the insert command. Update the data from the table, update command. Delete the data, delete command. Select the data, retrieve the data, select command. So these operations are called as CRUD operations. Insert, update, delete as well as what? Select. Are you following everyone? So now uh, database server is not user friendly. SQL server is database server. Database server means it is a software which is used to manage what? Databases. But uh, uh, end user, end user cannot directly communicate with what databases. End user cannot directly communicate with database servers. End user cannot directly communicate with database server. So if you want to interact with the database server, you must have the knowledge on some front end application is required. See, one point I'm telling that database server is not user friendly. End user cannot directly communicate with database server. End user means who? The employee who is working in the bank, he is called as end user. The customer who is interacting with the banking application through mobiles or browsers, he is called as end user. The employee who is uh, working in the bank, he is also end user. So end user cannot directly communicate with database server. So we need to develop some applications. We need to develop some applications. Which applications? Web applications. We need to develop some web applications and these web applications can be developed by using different technologies like Java, .NET, PHP, Django, Python. These all are different technologies to develop what? Web applications. Web applications means like hospital applications like um, IRCTC, Redbus, banking applications, Swiggy, Zomato, uh, bookmyshow.com commerce e-commerce applications amazon flipkart ebay these all are different types of web applications these all web applications are developed okay now by using java dot net means asp dot net asp dot net mvc you can develop what web applications to take any application every application requires what database every application requires what database maximum maximum applications requires database in database, the data will be stored in the form of tables. If you take IRCTC, all the customer details, booking details, uh, search details, uh, train details, cancellation details, all these information is stored in uh, IRCTC. One database is there. ICICI Bank also, the banking application, it is also have one database. In database, the data will be stored in the form of tables, which is a collection of rows and columns. But end user cannot directly communicate with the database. Because indirectly, end user will interact with what? Application. End user will interact with what? Application. And your application must communicate with what? 
database your application must interact with what database for that you have to learn one technology that is advo.net so what is advo.net means advo.net is a technology which is used to create the communication between front end application and back end application something like that or if your front end application want to communicate with the database is it clear you, you developed one web application that application is dotnet web application either you developed the application by using asp.net or asp.net mvc now your application must communicate with the database you have to learn one technology that is advo.net if your application is developed in java and if your database is oracle mostly java people will use either oracle or mysql then you have to learn one technology that is jdbc java database connectivity jdbc is a technology is it clear java people will use jdbc to communicate with what database server dotnet people will use advo.net to communicate with what database server so advo.net is a technology which is used to create the communication between front end application and database server jdbc is also a technology which is used to create the communication between front end application and database server is it clear oracle mysql sql server etc advo.net you can interact with any databases or any data source like sql server because it doesn't mean that every company will use the same database it depends on the company company to company it will change so advo.net uh, what is advo.net means it is a technology i told to communicate with the database server if you want to work with advo.net you must have the knowledge on csharp.net plus you must have the knowledge on sql is it clear you must know how to write the queries that queries you are write by using sql and you must have the knowledge on one language that is csharp.net code plus query advo.net is nothing but what code plus query so who will uh, learn advo.net developer which developer web application developer so you are you all are which developer web application developer your learning technologies like asp.net and asp.net mvc now your application must interact with what database server your application must communicate with what database server for that we have to learn one more technology that is advo.net so advo.net is a technology database technology which is used to create the communication between front end application and database software your application is a web application developed by using asp.net or asp.net mvc your application must communicate with what database software database server for that you must have the knowledge on one technology that is advo.net did you understood everyone full form of advo.net is activex database object dot network enabled technology i hope you got clarity what is the difference between asp.net and advo.net asp.net is a technology both are technologies but asp.net purpose is to develop web applications advo.net purpose is to interact with what database server so we will continue the series of videos database connectivities and everything with this from part 19 onwards for more videos try to subscribe to this channel